Hello everyone. We have a nice new valuable custom command called uh, validate email or email validation. Let me show you how it works. So I have our Tila project open here from scratch. Then you come here, bottom right, new command, and you look for email, and then you switch to the tab custom, and there is this new email verification uh, command here. So I will add it here, and then you will notice that we have console logs here. If you enable console log, it will output the results so that you don't have to run the whole project to see what's going on. So you can uh, check this box and then you can right click and open the inspector and then go to the console. Let's give it a bit of space. And what I have done is that we're going to compare our email verification which works for free, unlimited for free. So you can save a lot of money in uh, validating emails, but also you can turn it into a business. You can sell email validation or in involve uh, email validation validation in your flows and validate email on the fly as you scrape them, for example. And we're going to compare it with here an email validation list that I went, uh, I processed through uh, x email, x verify email something dot com, a paid service. So I'm going to compare a paid service here on the left that gave me this Excel and the, on these emails with the uh, email verification from our command that can work for free. So let's take the first one. I take this email here and I paste it. We're going to do just a couple of them to check. And here you have few options. You can verify just the MX DNS record. You can verify uh, the format, which is the syntax, and you can validate the SMTP server to see if the actual email server is set up or not. Or you can choose verify all, which is the best. So if I choose verify all, and now if I run the command after checking the console logs, it's going to output the results on the console. So I click here, run command. And this is using a Node.js package uh, that uh, is automatically installed by Artila. And you can see here that uh, the validation, the verification was successful. The command ran properly. And you have three types of valid, invalid uh, statuses that are separated with a pipe so that you can decide what you do. Uh, but the first is email format valid or invalid, and then MX invalid or valid, and then SMTP test invalid valid. So we give you valid or invalid for the three tests. And you can see that uh, this is invalid MX invalid SMTP. That means it's not a good email. And if I look here, uh, X, X email verify, actually they, they just said unknown. So they just say do not send, but we know why we can't send because the MX is not good and the SMTP server is not replying. Let's take a good case here. For example, this one valid that is reachable and so on. So if I take this email and let's see if, if we are able to get the same results with our command, I put the email here and then I come here. I do control L to clear the console. Let's run this again. Here you go. Email format is valid. MX is valid. SMTP is valid. This is a good email that you can send emailing to. So we are matching 100% here. Let's take another one that is invalid. This one, for example, uh, which is a fake email. Uh, as you can see, it should be easy to recognize. But let's see. Uh, I clear here. Control L. I remove this and I put this fake email. Let's run it. So the format is valid, but the MX is valid, so there is apparently a domain called yourstore.com, but the SMTP is invalid, so we cannot send an email. So no, it's not uh, valid. So let's take the butcher one here, which is valid according to X email verify, and we're going to see if we get the same result, and that would be enough for today, for this example. Okay, team at this email, let's run it. And it's valid format, valid MX, valid SMTP. We have 100% correspondence, meaning that we have the same quality of verification as a paid email service. And I'll show you now how to use this to make um, a list validation to go through many emails at the same time. So what we're going to do here is that I will remove this and I will remove the console logs because that takes a bit of power. Let's close this. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a new list, a list command to create a loop. So you can later uh, create even an, in an input for your clients or, or pull the emails from a Google Sheet. For now, I'm just going to put a bunch of emails here. So let's put the first 20, all these 20 emails, one per line. I throw them in here. We have 20 emails to go through. Yeah. 
and then I will nest the email validation inside the list and email validation here the email to verify is going to be a dynamic variable that comes from the list the current one the current email in the list the current row so what I do is that I copy the list variable name and then I come here and I open open curly bracket I paste my my list variable name close close curly bracket and it will pull from the list every round to give us every email and then what we're going to do here is that we're going to extract the results on every on every run we extract the results and what we're going to do here is that uh, in the inspection we're going to save the email that we have currently and I'm going to pull from the list so curly curly bracket list so that will give us the email address that is currently in the list then I create a second property the second property is going to be the email verification status so I just copy the name of my email verification command and then I go to my second property and let's call this status and then as a default value open open curly bracket my email validation variable name close close curly bracket and that's it yeah so now a list we uh, the, the email verification pulls from the list does the job we extract the results and we capture the results so let's run this now here email testing and you will have access to this template of course let's run this locally so this everything will happen in the background so we will wait for it a couple of seconds for it to go through I think we have uh, 20 emails plus the page load uh, waiting for the page load and then it will run the 20 emails okay it's done so let's look at the results we have 19 emails and here you go this email we have valid 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 the second email valid 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 and let's look at the second page you see this one is invalid exactly so your email at address.com that's a fake email uh, so it looks like it's doing the job this one is also invalid uh, yes dot pdf of course that will not be valid yeah it's uh, it went through a little bit everything and as you can see you can export the results here and then you will have your emailing results so make good use of this uh, new command and uh, hopefully save some money or make some money out of it see you on the next one